first got the PSVR probably three years ago now. Um, was very conscious of using it while wearing glasses. They do sort of advertise that you can wear glasses while you're playing, but if you actually dig into the manual, it warns you against scratching them while wearing glasses, scratching the lenses of the PSVR, which is not ideal. And that's why I ended up buying a few packs of daily disposable contact lenses purely just for playing the PSVR. Contact lenses work great because you can pull it back as close to your face as possible and fill your field of view. But with not wearing contacts anymore, uh, I used to wear them years ago, I was fine with them. But now I do struggle to get them out easily without hurting my eyes. So with uh, setting up the PSVR a few weeks ago and trying to get back into it, hit the same problem again. So I had a quick look online and found VR Optician, who make prescription lens adapters for VR headsets. The PSVR version is £59, um, shipping costs £6, so, so 65 quid total. Even though it says sort of estimated production time, four to five weeks on the website, within a week or just over a week they will be with me, ready to go. So we'll just have a quick look at them now, get them installed and have a play. That's everything that came in the box cleaning cloth, a bag, your actual lenses with your prescription. I have checked these. They do actually work. <laughs> I did type the right numbers in and a little cleaning wipe. Uh, now on their website they did have quite a good looking video of how to fit these. PSVR has got the rubber shroud around it to block the exterior light coming into your eyes. You need to take that off first. Now you need to give it a clean off, uh, wipe the lenses. I've just noticed when I'm editing, the rubber shroud definitely needs a clean on mine. Place so lot in like that and just give these a quick wipe. They do add a bit of thickness to where the headset will actually meet your face. So we'll see how that um, feels when we give it a test. Uh, need to put the plastic, uh, rubber back on, sorry. So to test them, I've set up GT Sport over on the steering wheel and we'll give them a go now. So with it pulled right back there is a bit more pressure there on my nose um, but I guess it depends how it fits your face your face is going to be different to mine we've got quite a big nose with contact lenses in I could sometimes feel my eyelashes actually brushing against the lens of the, the SVR couldn't really feel that with these fitted so you do lose probably a few mil of uh, how close you can actually get it to your face and fill your vision the other thing I'd noticed is, you can probably see it here if I pull up a picture, uh, the actual out white outline of the lenses is sort of visible while you're playing. It did kind of bug me at first, but once you get settled in, you sort of forget about it. It's there, but it doesn't really affect the gameplay. Feel immersed. And generally, this is a lot better than putting contact lenses in. Just a couple of hours every time you want to play it, because I really did struggle to get them out. I'm not really used to wearing them anymore. I don't know if that has something to do with the headset sort of drying out your eyes and your contact lenses, or if it's I'm just really out of practice of getting them out. But it uh, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, first impressions are pretty good. Obviously, if you're wearing contacts daily, regularly, don't bother. Just stick with them. But if you're a glasses wearer, these are really handy. But you've just got to take into account that if someone else is having a go, you will need to take the lens adapters out. I hope that's been useful to anyone that's thinking about buying some. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.